There were at least nine mass shootings across the country over the weekend, leaving 15 people dead, 30 others hurt, and one of them was right here in our own backyard. The shooting at a Colorado Springs birthday party left seven people dead, including the gunman. This is the second mass shooting in Colorado in just a matter of weeks. And tonight, the Colorado Springs community is shaken. And take a look. These are the victims of that senseless, that heartbreaking shooting. The youngest victim here, just 21 years old. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez is joining us live. And Ivan, neighbors still cannot believe what unfolded this weekend. <clears throat> And I spoke with one neighbor who lives just a couple homes down from where the shooting, shooting took place. She says one of the victims who lived in this home, she used to speak with her regularly. Now people who live in this community as well as family members are torn apart. Disbelief, confusion, and sadness run through the streets of Canterbury Mobile Home Park. It's looking like we have multiple victims. So I walk by here all the time. Sounds like more shots are still being fired. Keep the distance. Muy triste, la verdad. Gladys Bustos remembers her neighbor, 53-year-old Joanna Cruz well, and even spoke with her the morning of the birthday party. Agradable persona, muy amables. She says she was a very nice and courteous person and always had a smile on her face. She enjoyed her conversations with Joanna. Joanna Cruz is just one of six family members the suspect shot and killed before taking his own life. The youngest was 21-year-old Jose Gutierrez, 31-year-old Melvin Perez, 32-year-old Myra Perez, as well as Sandra and Jose Ibarra, who were Myra's siblings. Fueron gritos, todo muy confuso. Busto gritos, says she remembers hearing people Jose. yelling pounding noises and people saying no, no. The Colorado Springs mayor saying the shooting appears to be a domestic violence incident. We have to remember that, uh, you know, 20% of the victims of homicides related to domestic violence are not uh, the partners. Uh, they are bystanders, police officers that show up, uh, people in the wrong place, wrong time. And that's what happened here. We had a lot of very innocent people uh, that were killed. Police have not released a motive for the shooting, leaving many in this community continuing to ask how something like this could happen. We also saw people from the Salvation Army walking around the neighborhood, providing counsel to those people who live here and are in need of it. We also heard from Colorado Springs Police Department that tomorrow afternoon they'll be holding a press conference to identify all the victims as well as provide updates on the case. Live in Colorado Springs, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.